Okay, what do we have here? Ah, what the heck? My bank account is hacked. This is ridiculous. This can't be true. Or should I? Ah, my fake email. Ever got one of those sketchy emails that make you second guess clicking? With phishing attacks on the rise, protecting yourself is no longer an option. We're living in an increasingly digital world where there's a thin line between our data and the general public. And guess what? Hackers know this, and they're getting smarter and more dangerous by the day. This is why having solid protection on your device, in this case, an antivirus program, isn't just a nice to have, it's a must. In this video, I have carefully curated the best antivirus programs for 2025 to help you stay one step ahead of threats and phishing attacks like this before they get to you. With this in mind, I'll be putting these antivirus programs in a head-to-head -head showdown to find the ultimate winner. The tournament will have five rounds, testing each program's security, system performance, features, pricing, and ease of use. If a product doesn't make it through a round, it's out. Who do you think will take the crown as the antivirus champion? Kindly share your guesses in the comments. Oh, and by the way, I've added links to all of the products in the description box. Don't forget to use these links to unlock exclusive discounts of up to 70% off. All right, ready? Let's dive in. Round one, security. When choosing an antivirus program, it's important to check its performance in a trusted independent testing institute like AV Test. They run thorough tests every two months to see how well antivirus software detects malware, how much CPU it uses, and how easy it is to use. Our selected programs have consistently shown impressive results in recent tests by AV Test, Bitdefender, Norton, ESET, Avast, and McAfee all earned perfect scores of six from AV test on protection for their strong ability to detect and block threats consistently. Total AV, while still impressive, scored slightly lower due to occasional gaps in detecting threats in real time. This is likely because it relies heavily on cloud-based systems, which can sometimes lag behind the multi-layered approach used by the top contenders. Malwarebytes was last tested with an average score in protection and performance in October and August 2023, with a lower rating on zero-day attack protection and widespread malware detection compared to its competitors. In contrast, some Malwarebytes users faced issues with malware detection and scanning from October 2023 to August 2024, around the same time it was last tested by AV Test. Notably, a forum member named Yoss noted that Malwarebytes couldn't remove threats, causing repeated malware detected alerts even after quarantining the threats. Although the issue was resolved, it required a third-party tool recommended by an expert on the forum, raising doubts about Malwarebytes' reliability for thorough scans. These setbacks may have contributed to its low rating on AV test compared to other products. Given this information and the AV test results, Malwarebytes is taken out in round one. Do you think this was a fair judgment on Malwarebytes? Kindly share your thoughts in the comments. These surviving antivirus programs are like Sherlock Holmes for malware, proven by great results in independent testing. But how do they impact your system's performance during tasks? Let's find that out in round two. Round two, system performance. AV Test recorded impressive performance results for our remaining contenders, showcasing their ability to deliver strong protection with minimal impact on system speed and usability. Bitdefender, Avast, ESET, McAfee, and Norton all scored a 6 for being outstanding with total AV scoring a 5.5, which is still impressive. Of course, can't rely on these results alone, so I decided to conduct my own test on how they impact system performance. During the test, I ran a full scan on each one. Avast used about 0.4% of the CPU and 168 megabytes of RAM. McAfee had low CPU usage similar to Avast, with 33 3 megabytes of RAM. Norton used around 2% of the CPU and 131 megabytes of RAM, while ESET consumed about 6% of the CPU and roughly 29 megabytes of RAM. McAfee also showed low usage at about 3.6% CPU and around 121 megabytes of RAM. In contrast, Bitdefender used up to 15% of the CPU due to its heavy scanning process and around 63 megabytes of RAM. However, Bitdefender has a built-in system optimizing tool, which I'll talk about later in the video. That clears out unnecessary files and speeds up scans, a feature also found in Total AV and Norton. Unfortunately, Avast, McAfee, and ESET lack these tools, making them less suitable for users with lower-end devices. So that eliminates them in round two. Hmm, I'm sure you didn't see that one coming, did you? Anyways, if you use any of the eliminated antivirus programs for this round, 
cloud, I'd like to know how they impact your device's performance when running tasks. Please let me know your results down in the comments. Tensions rise as we reach round three. Who gets knocked out next? Round three. Features. Let's take a closer look at the protection, privacy, and performance features of Total AV, Norton, and Bitdefender, while pointing out some potential drawbacks to keep things balanced. When it comes to keeping your devices safe, all three antiviruses bring their A game, starting with Total AV, which comes in strong with real time malware protection that detects and blocks threats before they do damage to your devices. Its web shield blocks harmful sites and phishing attempts. It also has cloud scanning intelligence to check suspicious programs against a database of known threats, catching new malware quickly. Plus, it provides multiple scan options that allow you to schedule scans regularly, alongside a quarantine feature to isolate any detected malware. Norton, on the other hand, steps up with customizable security settings, multiple scan types, and an impressive rescue disk that detects threats even when your operating system isn't running. It also includes cloud backup to secure important files, a safe web browser extension that protects your browsing experience, a password manager, and parental control for monitoring online activities. However, Bitdefender takes it a step further with its Bitdefender Shield, offering real-time protection from malware, and its quick, full, and vulnerability scans detect threats, flag outdated software, and expose weak passwords. Bitdefender stands out with its ransomware remediation feature, which restores your files after a ransomware attack, while its anti-spam keeps your inbox tidy. It also provides online threat prevention that stops phishing and fraud attempts. In all honesty, these antivirus programs offer impressive protection features, but privacy is where the differences start to show. Total AV offers privacy features, mostly through add-ons. It has a Total VPN for secure browsing, a password manager for easy and secure logins, and a breach scan to alert you if your info leaks online. While these are useful, they're not built in, except for the breach scan, so you might feel like you're paying extra for features that are included by default in some of its rivals. But with with Norton, privacy is a big focus. Its dark web monitoring checks if your personal information has been stolen. It has a built-in secure VPN that keeps your browsing habits private and a safe cam that blocks unauthorized webcam access. However, its VPN performance may not match that of standalone VPN, so expect limitations in its functionality. Speaking of limitations, Bitdefender's VPN might seem dedicated, being an add-on, but it does have a data cap of 200 megabytes daily limit and access to one server on the free version, which is pretty fair for casual use. Besides this, Bitdefender doesn't hold back when it comes to privacy. It provides features like SafePay, a browsing environment for online banking. Plus, it offers webcam and audio protection, so you don't have to worry about sneaky spyware. That being said, this clearly shows privacy is a priority across the board. But let's see how these antiviruses keep your devices running smoothly. Total AV's cleanup scan clears up disk space, optimizes startup by reducing slow programs, and removes junk, even suggesting apps you rarely use to be uninstalled to keep your device organized. Norton's performance tools include a software updater for app security, a file cleanup to clear junk files, and a startup manager that speeds things up by controlling app launch settings. Its optimized disk tool enhances performance by reorganizing your hard drive. Bitdefender comes through with Anti-Theft, which locates lost devices, a one-click optimizer that instantly boosts system performance, and profiles that adjust settings based on your activities. Its file shredder permanently deletes files, leaving no recovery option, just like emptying a recycling bin for good. To be fair, each antivirus stands out in specific areas. Total AV with its straightforward approach and features like WebShield and BreachScan. Norton with its robust privacy tools and Bitdefender with top-notch performance and security. Overall, all three provide solid options. So consider this round a tie. Hmm, yeah, what were your expectations from this round? You can tell me down in the comments. Who knows, we could have a rematch. And if you're enjoying this video, you can express your feelings by giving it a like. It'll help us to serve you better. And do make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell icon to stay updated on our next videos. All right, moving on. Rounds one to three were thrilling and led us to a tie. Now, let's see if we can break up the tie in round four, focusing on pricing. Round four, pricing. Let's take a look at this table and compare each one side by side. Starting with Total AV, 
its security package comes in three tiers. Antivirus Pro, Internet Security, and Total Security. The entry plan, Antivirus Pro, covers four devices and starts at $29 for the first year and renews at $99 annually. The other tiers offer additional features like VPN and Password Manager, covering more devices at a higher cost compared to the entry plan. Norton, on the other hand, offers much more, providing its packages in four tiers, Antivirus Plus, 360 Standard, 360 Deluxe, and 360 Select with LifeLock. Its basic plan, Antivirus Plus, offers real-time malware protection for one device, a firewall, two gigabytes of cloud backup, and a password manager. It starts at $30 for the first year and renews at $60 annually. The other tiers provide extra features like VPN, dark web monitoring, privacy control, parental controls, lifelock, identity theft protection, and up to $25,000 in funds insurance, covering up to 10 devices for complete safety. Bitdefender keeps things similar to Total AV, offering three tiers for device security, antivirus plus, internet security, and total security. The Antivirus Plus starts at 25 bucks and covers three devices. It includes real-time malware protection, multi-layer ransomware defense, and a built-in VPN. The other tiers provide extra layers of protection like a firewall, device optimizer, crypto mining protection, and a password manager, covering up to five devices at a higher cost. In addition, all Bitdefender plans come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. In conclusion, Total AV delivers reliable protection, but misses some advanced features found in Bitdefender and Norton. This makes it less competitive in terms of value for money, leading to its elimination in round four. However, if Total AV does tickle your fancy, you can grab it for a unique discount using the link in that description. Now, let's see who takes the crown in the final round. Ease of use. Round five, ease of use. When comparing ease of use, both Norton and Bitdefender have intuitive interfaces but serve different needs. Bitdefender's layout is tidy, featuring main tabs for protection, privacy, and utilities, making it user-friendly, especially for beginners. The dashboard can be customized, allowing quick access to favorite features, and is visually organized, which helps with easy navigation. Norton, while offering more features, can be a bit of a hassle during navigation. Its main dashboard is clear, but finding specific settings can be confusing due to many options hidden in the submenus, making it feel overwhelming for new users. Overall, Bitdefender is better for simplicity and ease of use, while Norton suits those wanting detailed control over security settings. With the final result at hand, it's safe to say that Bitdefender takes the win as our top antivirus for its excellent protection, great performance, and user-friendly features, with Norton being the runner-up. So, what do you think of this tournament and the final result? Is Bitdefender worthy of the champion's crown? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. You can also check out our Bitdefender full review right here.